Welcome to the Floral POS. In this how-to video, we're going to show you how to use our delivery manager. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the delivery manager itself. So click on Control Panel, go into System Management, and Delivery Manager. If you notice up top, you have three orders that need to be delivered, and one of them has a specific time. If you notice down below, we have a key that says do delivery due at a specific time or de uh, delivers in a trip. You can see this one's definitely a specific time and it kind of makes it red so you guys can see that. So there's two different ways we can actually uh, map or, or take care of this um, delivery. We can add it into a trip or we can deliver it by itself without it being in a trip at all. So let's take care of the, the, this uh, specific time one first by itself without being in a trip. So what you could do is you could actually say, okay, it's, it's going to be uh, going out right now. So we can go, it's out on delivery if you'd like to, here, and then save it. Or you can click on the options area and say that, okay, it's out on delivery at uh, 152. And the driver can be assigned later. You notice that once I saved it out on delivery, it's actually out of our hands now. It's not in the um, in-house delivery status. If you want to go ahead and see any of the deliveries that are actually out on delivery, you just select out on delivery, hit load, and that's there's that one right there. So let's go back to today's um, deliveries. All right, and let's go ahead and create a trip with these two um, deliveries themselves. So let's hit add to both those. And you notice that when you, we drop them into the the delivery or the trip, it actually uh, makes this blue. So once they're down here, we can actually do a bunch of stuff to them. We can actually name the trip. Um, we can actually add the driver at this point too. We can save it. At that point, we can do a couple other things. We can map the trip which it goes to Google Maps and maps it from our shop to the two locations. Shows you like where you're going. You can even send the directions to your phone if you'd like. Um, you can actually um, print a delivery manifest and I'm going to preview one so you can see it. Shows the driver assigned, the name of the trip up top, and then it kind of lists out all the deliveries for you. And then we can actually, when the driver decides he's going to leave, he can come in here and just select out on delivery and hit save trip and it's going to automatically mark them out on deliver. That easy. So let's say, for example, the driver's coming back, he goes to the delivery station or whatever station he wants to go to. He clicks on delivery manager and he wants to pull up the trip that he just took. All he has to do is go to trip viewer. There's Akron trip number one. You click on select. And then he wants to mark it as delivered. All he does at this point is select delivered, hit save. <clears throat> now, once you hit save, it basically is going to automatically send out email confirmations if you want them to. And that's it. They've been delivered and email confirmations have been sent. Now, the cool thing about that is if the customer does call you, you can actually go back into the order itself without going into the delivery manager. You can open up the order. And down on the lower right hand side, we have a delivery truck. You click on that and it gives you all the information about the order itself. So you can see when it went out on delivery, when it got delivered. If the delivery driver decided he wanted to um, put down who signed it, he can put that there and he can put the driver notes in there as well. This can also be done inside the delivery manager as well. So we go back in there again and pull up those deliveries. Or we could go into the trip itself and pull up the trip. He could go into each one of the options area and he could have put down when he delivered it and who's, you know, who signed it and the driver notes there as well. And that's basically how to use the delivery manager inside the Floral POS. If you have any questions about it, give us a call at 888-865-9768. If you want, uh, want to, you can email us at support at the floralpos.com. Or as always, you can click on our little feedback button and provide feedback for us. All right, guys, until next time, we'll see you.